continuing our conversation about state question 792 this morning we have Alex Wentz who's the spokesman for yes on the 792 campaign and then in opposition Brian Kerr with more liquor again thank you for being here want to get both of your reactions on this Broadway wine in automobile alley shared this on their Instagram page I actually had the pleasure to talk to one of the owners there they posted this state question 792 uh, was crafted by Walmart and their allies to squeeze as much money out of the local economy as possible without regard for local business or public safety. They are hiding behind big advertising budgets and vague terms like modernization, but only care about increasing their profits. Alex, sure. what say you to this? Broadway Wine is a great store. It's actually my local liquor store, and it's a perfect example of a business that is going to thrive and get better under 792. They've got a loyal clientele. There's great customer service there. It's an excellent selection. It will never be duplicated by the rivals that they're worried about, which are grocery stores and convenience stores. You're never going to be able to find the products uh, at those stores that you can find at Broadway Wine. But they will now be able to sell refrigerated craft beer, uh, which is going to be great for customers. So it, at the end of the day, this is about what customers and consumers have been asking these businesses for for years. They've been asking grocery stores to have these products. They've been asking liquor stores to sell refrigerated items. So it's, a, it's about giving the people of Oklahoma what they've asked for, for not just years really, but for decades. So you don't see them losing sales? I mean, to me, and what I've heard from a lot of people is, you go to Whole Foods, you go to Walmart, a lot of people buying their groceries. Why would they not just buy the, the beer and, and wine there? How, how will they not be losing sure. well, sales? Well, first of all, I don't, think that, I don't think that Broadway wine will or should succeed because the government forces people to shop there because it's the only place they can get those products. They will succeed because they have great customer service, they're a great business, and they offer selection that's never going to be available at a grocery store or convenience store. They offer different things and a different shopping experience, and they are going to do well under 792. They're a perfect example uh, of a store that, that's going to yeah, grow. This isn't about Broadway wine. Broadway wine statement is about local versus non-local business and what they're saying is right and although i appreciate alex's optimism about what's going to happen in the businesses that we own if alex owned a liquor store he would be singing a different tune so we support giving the consumers what they want the the retail liquor association the liquor stores broadway wine more liquor my store we want to sell refrigerated product in our stores we want consumers to have that convenience we want to sell all the beer consumers want and that can be done without sq 792 you can vote no on that, force the legislature to come back and do something right and not move all that money out of state and not give all that money to big businesses and take it away from local guys. Okay, I want to move on to another question we got too. Steve wants to know, I saw that if Oklahoma votes on 792, votes yes on it, it wouldn't even take effect until 2018. Why do we have to wait that long? Yeah, so two things on that. First of all, the reason that 2018 was picked is because it is a complete reconfiguration of the wholesale distribution system, and as I said, in a bad way. So they need that time in order to make that reconfiguration into the, the statewide monopoly that it is going to be so that they can get where they need to be. Retail package stores would be happy to have the refrigerated beer in stores tomorrow. We would put refrigeration in and let consumers come in and get it. But that's not what Walmart wanted, that's not what the big guys wanted, and that's why it's well, in the bill that and way. And if you think about the distribution system today, if you're a distributor, you're distributing to about 700 locations, it's going to be about 4,000 once 792 goes into effect. So we're talking more trucks, more manpower, I mean, it's a big deal. So it, so it is going to take some time to ramp up. But I, I do want to say, you know, Brian keeps trying to throw this big business stuff out, but the, the business that uh, the Retail Liquor Association cares about is they have a monopoly on three products. Not true. Beer, uh, wine and uh, spirits, and they and they don't want to give up their monopoly on two of those. And, and, yet, I, you, and, I and yet you that. just offered us Budweiser, Coors, and Miller, which will give up the monopoly that grocery and convenience stores have on those exactly, products exactly. currently in Oklahoma. Exactly, yeah. Brian. I, I want one you last to question. be able to sell those and products. And you're going to create a monopoly consumers. at the wholesale level and give up a monopoly at the retail level. Sorry, Mark. <laughs> no, you're totally fine. This is what we brought you on here sure. for. But I do have one last question. Um, if you could kind of just quickly, early voting has already started. People right. are going to head to the polls here within a few days. This will be one of the seven state questions. Each of you go with convince the voters yes, convince them no. Very sure. Quickly. Yeah. If you vote yes on 792, you're going to see lower prices, greater selection, and have more convenient shopping experiences. You're also going to create jobs for independently owned local businesses like craft brewers and farmers who grow uh, grapes and make wine, as well as convenience stores and grocery stores of all sizes.
Go ahead. So the reason to vote no on SQ-792 is if you educate yourself on what is actually an SQ-792. The convenience comes with cost, and the cost include not lower prices, but higher prices. Not greater selection, but less selection. Not more public safety and better public health, but less public safety and less public health. So you're going to end up seeing the consumer suffer under SQ-792. You're going to lose a lot of small businesses. What you gain in the breweries and the wineries is going to be offset by tenfold in the local businesses. They're going to go away as a result of SQ-792. So if you love local businesses, if you value public safety, vote no on SQ-792. Alex Wentz, Brian Kerr, cheers. Yes. Thank you both for well, coming on. You. A lot of people buzzing about this. Um, but we'll see what the people of Oklahoma go and vote for. Thanks, thank Mark. you so much for your time. Thank